watching Channel 20 TV. Be with Channel 20 and let us make things better together. How are you? Welcome back to the show, Kids Knowledge Factory, episode 13. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wailun lil muttafifin Alladheena idha aktalu ala al-nasi yastawfoon Wa idha akaluhum aw wazanuhum yukhsiroon ألا يظن أولئك إنهم معبوثون ليوم عظيم يوم يقوم الناس لرب العالمين كلا إن الكتاب الفجار لفي سجين وما أدراك ما سجين كتاب مرقوم ويل يومئذ للمكذبين الذين يكذبون بيوم الدين وما يكذب به إلا كل معتاد أثيم إذا تتلى عليه آياتنا قال أساطير الأولين كلا بل ران عليه قلوبهم ما كانوا يكسبون كلا إنهم عن ربهم يومئذ لمحجوبون ثم إنهم لصالوا جحيم ثم يقول هذا إذا كنتم به تكذبون كلا إن كتاب البرار لفي عيلين Approximate hours of sleep needed by children of different ages as recommended by Mill Pond Children's Sleep Clinic UK for one week old children, daytime is 8 hours and nighttime is 8 hours 30 minutes. For four weeks old children, daytime is 6 to 7 hours and nighttime is 8 to 9 hours. For three months old children, daytime is 4 to 5 hours, nighttime is 10 to 11 hours. For six month old children, day daytime is 3 hours and nighttime is 11 hours. For nine months old children, daytime is two hours, 30 minutes, nighttime is 11 hours. For 12 months old children, daytime is two hours, 30 minutes, nighttime is 11 hours. For two years old children, daytime is one hour, 30 minutes, nighttime is 11 hours, 30 minutes. For three years old children, daytime is 45 minutes, nighttime is 11 hours 30 minutes to 12 hours for five years old children nighttime is 11 hours for six years old children nighttime is 11 hours 45 minutes for seven years old children nighttime is 10 hours 30 minutes for eight years old children Nighttime is 10 hours 15 minutes. Nine years old children, nighttime is 10 hours. For 11 years old children, nighttime is 9 hours and 30 minutes. For 12 years old children, nighttime is 9 hours and 15 minutes. For 13 years old children, nighttime is 9 hours and 15 minutes. For 14 years old children, nighttime is 9 hours. For 15 years old children, nighttime is 9 hours. For 16 years old children, 
Night time is nine hours. Brain basics know your brain. The brain is the most complex part of the human body. This three pound organ is the seat of intelligence, interpreter of senses, initiator of the body movement, and controller of the behavior. Lying in the bony shell and washed by protective fluid, the brain is the source of the qualities that define our humanity. The brain is the crown jewel of the human body. For centuries, scientists and philosophers have been fascinated by the brain, but until recently they viewed the brain as a nearly incomprehensible. Now however, the brain is beginning to relinquish its secrets. Scientists have learned more about the brain in the last 10 years than in all previous centuries because of the accelerating pace of research in neurological and behavioral science and the development of new research techniques. As a result, Congress named the 1990s the decade of the brain. At the forefront of research on the brain and other elements of the nervous system is the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and stroke, NINDS, which conducts the support scientific studies in the United States and around the world. This fact, she is a basic introduction to the human brain. It may help you understand how the healthy brain works, how to keep it healthy, and what happens when the brain is diseased or dysfunctional. The brain is like a committee of experts. All of the parts of the brain work together, but each part has its own special properties. The brain can be divided into three basic units, the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain. The hindbrain includes the upper part of the spinal cord, the brain stem, and the wrinkle ball of tissue called the cerebellum. The hindbrain controls the body's vital functions such as respiration and heart rate. The cerebellum coordinates movement and is involved in learned rote movements. When you play the piano or hit a tennis ball, you are cheating, activating the cerebellum. The uppermost part of the brain stem is the midbrain, which controls some reflex actions and is part of the circuit involved in control of eye movements and other voluntary movements. The forebrain is the largest and most highly developed part of the human brain. It consists primarily of the cerebrum, cerebrum and the structures hidden beneath. When people see pictures of the brain, it is usually the cerebrum, cerebrum that they notice. The cerebrum sits at the topmost part of the brain and is the source of intellectual activities. It holds your memories, allows you to plan, enable, enables you to imagine, and thinks it allows you to recognize friends, read books, and play games. The cerebrum is split into two halves, hemispheres, by a deep fissure. Despite the split, the two cerebral hemispheres communicate with each other through a thick tract of nerve fibers that lies at the base of the fissure. Although the two hemispheres seem to be mirror images of each other, they are different, for instance, the ability to form words seem to lie primarily in the left hemisphere, while the right hemisphere seem to control many abstract reasoning skills. For some as yet unknown reason, nearly all of the signals from the brain to the body 
and vice versa cross over on their way to and from the brain. This means that the right cerebral hemisphere primarily controls the left side of the body and the left hemisphere primarily controls the right side. When one side of the brain is damaged, the opposite side of the body is affected. For example, a stroke in the right hemisphere of the brain can leave the left arm and leg paralyzed. That's all for this episode. See you next episode. So then, stay safe, listen to your parents, and always be happy. Bye.